Hey y'all, welcome back to Nene's Texas Kitchen. This weekend, we are gonna make um, chocolate chip pound cake. So, this is a pound cake also, but it's a little different. So, it has egg whites and everything in it. But, here's your ingredient list. The first thing that you're gonna need is, you need two cups of sugar, and you're gonna divide that into separate parts. You're gonna have one and a half cups that are going into the original batter and then you're gonna have a half a cup that you reserve back to put into the egg whites when you beat them stiff. We need three cups of sifted cake flour. You need um, one teaspoon of salt, and it is how much baking soda? I can't remember. Oh, half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, sorry. Um, you'll need one teaspoon of vanilla. You'll need eight ounces of sour cream. Um, two sticks of butter plus one tablespoon of butter softened at room temperature. You need six eggs separated. So you want the yolks here and then the egg whites in a separate clean container that you're going to beat them with to make them stiff. You need four ounces of regular chocolate grated and you need one and a third cups of chocolate chips that you will put into the mix. So I've already prepared my pan. I greased it down with shortening and then sprinkled flour in it and shook it out. So you need a 10 inch tube pan for this. And then I've got my oven set for 325 degrees. So let's get started. First step is you want to take your softened butter and put it into a large mixing bowl. I'm doing this in a regular mixing bowl instead of my stand mixer because I'm going to use my stand mixer to um, beat my egg whites. <clears throat> so mix, beat your butter till it kind of becomes light and fluffy. Like so. Now we'll add in our sugar, our one and a half cups of sugar for this part, and mix that really well. And I always start my mixer out on a lower speed until I get my stuff kind of incorporated together, and then I can turn it up to make it get more fluffy and, and combined. Um, if you do it on that way and do it on low speed at first, you are less likely to fling as much of your ingredients out of your bowl whenever you're doing it. Okay. The next step is to go ahead and add all six of your yellows of your eggs, your egg yolks, and mix those in with the butter and sugar mixture. vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla, all right, now <clears throat> I have a Here's my sifted flour, it's three cups. And then I have a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna dump it into my flour. And then I just have a whisk. And I'm just going to use the whisk to stir it up. Now I've already sifted my flour, but this will just kind of loosen it back up since it's been sitting there for a few minutes. And it will also combine the salt and soda into the flour so that it's incorporated evenly throughout the mixture. So now you're going to put in some of the flour mixture, about a third, and kind of mix that a little bit and then add in some of the sour cream. <clears throat> Just a little and then put your sour cream in. 
And this is just regular <clears throat> full fat sour cream. You can use the light if you prefer. This is just what I had. Or I would use the light normally, but I have full fat right now, so that's what I'm using. The batter on the cake will be kind of thick, but that's normal. Once you beat the egg whites to stiff peaks and fold that in, it'll slacken up the mixture slightly. It's a pound cake, so the cake mixture is always kind of thick on a pound cake. Oh yeah, mix a little bit in. And then we'll add in the sour cream. <clears throat> the little bit of baking soda that's in there, but mainly all the eggs and the egg whites are your primary raising agents in this particular cake mix and in most pound cakes. put the rest of this in. So on this step, go ahead and put in the remaining amount of your sour cream. <clears throat> and then beat it, and then you can add the rest of your flour in. of our flour. Like I say, start out on low speed so you don't fling flour out everywhere. Make sure you're getting all around the sides to get all of your flour. Now you can speed up. sit there for a minute. Now we're going to do our egg whites. So they're just egg whites, six egg whites at room temperature. Here's my half cup of sugar and I'm going to start beating these. I always start out the mixer a little bit slower and then I gradually speed it up until I get it up to a high rate of speed so that it can whip all these egg whites up. All right, we're going to let these whip up to a frenzy, and we'll be back in a second and show you. All right, y'all, now our um, egg whites have gotten to stiff peaks, as you can see. So I'm going to add in my half cup of sugar slowly. Just don't dump it all in at once because there's a risk that you could knock the air out of your egg whites, and then they wouldn't be fluffy anymore. So you just do a little bit at a time. And that kind of helps it get incorporated in and start to dissolve, and then it won't flatten out your egg whites. And that's all of them added in. So you don't want to over whip them either, because at that point you could start to cause them to lose their air also and separate. So you don't want it to do that. So here is our fluffy sugared egg whites. All right. So we're going to leave that sitting there for now. Now I got to add in my chocolate shavings and my chocolate chips. <clears throat> now you could probably use this. We'll try it. You just don't want to chop up your your big chocolate chip morsels too much. You just want to get everything mixed in. Yeah, and it does fine. I was just afraid it might chop them up, but it's not. Okay, now we're done with the mixer. 
because for the egg whites, we're going to fold those in to the mixture. So you want to start out with about a third of the egg whites. And fold that in and then you'll add in the rest. So with folding, you go around the edge and through the middle. Around the edge and through the middle. And I kind of do like a folding motion, like I'm turning it over, like so. Around the edge, through the middle, with a flipping motion, like that. You want to try to keep as much of the egg white fluffiness as you can when you do this because it's going to help your cake to poof up and rise up nice and big. Okay. So that's how you do it. I'm going to incorporate the other egg whites into it I'm in thirds. So I'll do another third and then another third and then when we're ready to put it into our pan we'll come back and show you that part. All right y'all we have finished incorporating all of our egg whites into our batter so you can see looks pretty good. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to add it to the pan and try to be as even as I can with it. And when you do cakes, always try to empty your batter close to your pan. Um, not Don't do it from up high because you could lose any of that fluffiness, especially when you have put egg whites into it. If it's just an ordinary cake mix, it's not as big of a deal, I don't guess, because you haven't put egg whites in there. But when you do use egg whites incorporated into a cake mix, you need to make sure that you're not too high above it and like let it splotch down in there. You want to hold it close. <coughs> Don't mind that. It was just my pan falling in the sink. All right. And then kind of spread it out evenly in your pan like so. So it's nice and pretty on top. You want it to be as even as it can be. Oh, I have a bunch of batter in my spoon. What is that? Put that in there. Don't lick your fingers. Got raw eggs in it. All right. Now, I'm going to put this cake in the oven at 325 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. And then I'm going to check it with a toothpick and see if it comes out without bits of cake still wet on there and if not then I'll put it um, in for another five minutes just to make sure it gets done so we'll come back and show you when our cake is ready all right y'all our cake came out of the oven and I set it on a wire rack to let it cool for 10 minutes before I turned it out of the pan onto my serving stand here so now we're going to make just a regular glaze to go on it so what you need for that is just one cup of powdered sugar and I've put it into this little um, glass container that I can pour it with and then I need a tablespoon of milk. If it's too, too thick you can add a little bit more milk but for now I'm just going to add that one tablespoon and then just mix it up. You just have to keep stirring. I think it's going to need a little bit more to get it to the right consistency. It's always better to add a tiny bit and then add more if you need it instead of adding the whole like one and a half tablespoons at one time. You want to make sure you get it all blended and you want it to be not too runny but you also want it to be 
to where you can pour it and that's still too thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. So you probably end up adding about two tablespoons to it to get it to the best pouring consistency for a glaze. Which is what we have here. So now, oops, I'm making a mess. Always making a mess. Okay. Now we'll take the glaze and we will just pour it across the top and let it run down to the inside and the outside. can use a spoon to help get more of it out. Like so. Okay. Now take some extra chocolate chips and just sprinkle them across it. It's a chocolate chip pound cake. You can put as many or as few as you would like. You don't need a whole lot. Just enough to kind of decorate it. Make it pretty. clean up my mess again. <clears throat> I'm always doing that. Okay, so now we're gonna cut it and we'll see what a little slice of it looks like. Just a little thin slice. And here's our slice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now we'll give it a try. See what we think. Mmm. That is really good. That's delicious. You'll like this cake. I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed my video making homemade chocolate chip pound cake, Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go back and watch my other videos. And we'll see y'all next time in Nini's Texas Kitchen.